hey hi everyone this is mohit and welcome back to engineer take up channel so in this session i'm going to share with you bpro second round interview question and this is the managerial round guys so first round i have already shared the question if you miss you can watch the first round uh one so like we have already shared many question over there right so let's move in the first question so the first question like tell me about your experience and the skills so these guys like they ask like you have a experience and your skill you have to highlight so i have already discussed you know your first question is always tell me about yourself if you are going as experience so it should like what you have to speak right you have to highlight your experience your skill set your roles and responsibility but yeah what they are going to ask you have to speak if they will ask you to tell me about yourself then you have to explain each and everything like your name your current or organization your relevant experience your skill or your current project and roles and responsibility so this all the things you have to highlight guys so i have a separate video for you know what is your roles and responsibility in your automation testing and all so i have already made the video on that you can watch those video i have already shared in the link in the last of the video i will also share where you will get all the real time interview question and answer okay the second question is what is the difference between before suite before class and before method so this is the part of test ng if you are not aware of the test ng first you have to learn the test ng concept right because if you are a, a automation test engineer so we use testing framework like test ng as well right so you having the very good knowledge of the test ng and these are the annotation which is uh, coming from the test ng so what is the before suite this is a uh, annotation is used to uh, specify a method that should be executed before all in a in a uh, before all test in a suite okay so what is the suite and all so you can explore in the test ng concept so i have already uploaded the video of the test ng this is typically used to perform the setup that is required for entire suite right such as in is initializing a database or a starting a server okay so this is like a before initializing all the suit this all the things we do we have to do so this all the things we can do before you know executing all the test cases then what is the before class okay the annotation is used to specify a method that should be executed before all the test in a class okay so we have a class level so it will execute before executing all the class it is typically used to perform setup that is required for all the test in a class in the class such as initializing the object or setting up the test data before method this annotation is used to specify a method that should be executed before test method this is your method level of annotation in a class it is typically used to perform setup that is required for each test such as re uh, resetting object or initializing the test data so according to the requirement we can use all this annotation okay so let's move in the another question what is the main method right so this is a very basic question they have asked you when you start your java code we are starting like execution will start from the main method right so you could see public static void and main why we use the main method when you are writing the code right when you will not define the main method in your class then what will happen you will get run time error not a compile time without compiled without main method you can compile the code but without main method we cannot execute the code the first thing if you have a class then main method must be required to execute your code otherwise you will get run time exception so now the question is why main method is required right so we are the user and we have a jvm jvm is your software then what will happen it will interact with user to jvm in jvm we having the main method is your inbuilt method which is already developed inside this jvm so when any users or developer will execute means run the code run time then automatically main method will call 
so it is an interface between the users and jvm so main method is a predefined method in java it is a interface between jvm and developer public static void main and we are passing here command line argument a string args right a string type of an array this means that the main method is a public means you can access anywhere that is accessible from outside the class as well it is a static so why it is a static which means that it can be called without an instance of a class and it seek an array of a string object okay as an argument okay so this is your command line argument so hope this will helpful for you guys so let's move in the another question what is your contribution in agile as a tester okay so guys it depend upon your roles and responsibility so if you are a senior qa if you are a QA, you are a lead, you are a QA manager. So it depends upon what you are and what is your position. Then what is your, you know, accordingly, we are participating in our agile. It means your task, right? So like I'm just going to give you the answer for you are a senior QA, right? The particular responsibility of a tester and agile team include the creating and providing the feedback on the test suit test progress and product, product quality. And see, in the test planning, sorry, in the sprint planning, they are, we, they are like planning what we have to work for the next sprint and all. So I told you, right, it totally depends upon your, what you, your roles you are working, right? Right, if you are automation test engineer, your contribution like your contribution is different. If you are a manual tester, your contributions are different. If you are manual and automation tester, your contributions are different. You are a lead, your contributions are different. You are a QA manager, your contributions are different. So it totally depend upon what profile you have, okay? So now the next question is, what is the approach to do functional testing? The functional testing is the process through which QA uh, determine if the piece of the software is acting in accordance with predefined requirement. Okay, like what is the, we have a requirement. It is used as a black box testing technique. So in functional testing, we are not going to, even any testing, if you are a tester, we are not going to touch any code base. Okay, so in, which tester has no knowledge of the internal system logic, right? So what is the approach of functional testing? Unit testing. So here the unit testing is done by the developers. Then we have to do a smoke testing. We have a sanity testing, integration testing, and usability testing. Okay, so this is the approach of your functional testing. So guys, they have asked you more questions. So you guys can Google it. It's a very simple. Open any website and write the XPath. Actually, they ask uh, to open any website and some links are there that links are like a uh, duplicates links and all. So if you have a duplicate element, so you have to use, you know, again, uh, you can use the accent, uh, extend, uh, sorry, contents function with index. Depend upon how the HTML doc is, okay? We can use preceding, following. We can use parent concept as well, right? It totally depends upon how the HTML docs. If you don't know how to write the uh, XPath, please learn because many tools are available. But again, you have to uh, you have to know how to write the customized XPath, right? Have you worked on database testing? If you work, then you can say yes, right? You have a knowledge of the database testing. You having the basics knowledge of SQL as well. Which tool are you using for functional testing? I have huge Jira tools. Many tools are available. Okay, so we having the rally, we having the Jira. So mostly, you know, I whatever the project I have worked on, I I have huge Jira and rally. Okay, so I think that's all, guys. So thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. If you like my video, please. Uh, share and subscribe and press bell icon to get new video notification. So let me uh, show you my, sorry, let me show you uh, my channel. So my channel name is Engineers Tech Hub. You can just search it. You will get this Engineers Tech Hub. 
so we will go in my channel right so if you are a manual test engineer and if you are planning to switch in automation so what happened you learn many things but you are stuck in the real time project and real time interview question and answer right so people go inside this playlist then you will get uh, here some common interview question which is already asked in the many interview if you will go for real time interview question and answer so here you will get what the challenges you have faced what is your roles and responsibility what is your day to day activity what is your roles and responsibility in your uh, automation profile what is your contribution in your automation profile in your agile process so this is all the things you know here you will get it so you can just go and you can watch uh, this uh, you know playlist you will get many playlist guys so till now i have uploaded many top level of the interview question for mnc you can see we have a oracle nes itc infotech so you will get many more here okay so we will get some idea what type of the question they are going to ask you okay so that's it in this guys see you in the next video bye bye